The evolution of whitetails began over five million years ago as three different prehistoric deer crossed the land bridge between present-day Russia and Alaska. All three of these deer-like animals were very different, yet the common whitetail shares elements of each. The first deer is thought to be the ancient ancestor of the European roe deer, a deer of medium build with short, branch-like antlers. The second species had no antlers, but had large upper canine teeth, which is a trait that is still found in deer that inhabit certain habitats in other parts of the world today. The third deer was a somewhat larger animal than the others, but grew palmated, branching antlers. The only genus that survived uh, was one called Otocolius, the hollow tooth deer species, and that became the ancestor to the modern whitetail, uh, the modern mule deer, and even the modern blacktail deer. As a scientist, I think uh, blacktails and whitetails uh, probably have a, a very close common origin, if not the blacktail being the origin of the whitetail. Tens of thousands of years ago, the blacktail deer dominated the Pacific coast, where the mule deer stretched across the central plains and the whitetail deer traveled east. As the centuries passed, whitetails spread, adapting to coastal habitats, swamps, and hardwoods. White-tailed deer are the cornerstone of North America's wildlife management programs. With a population of 25 million and growing, it's estimated that white-tailed deer create an economic value of over $1.3 trillion annually. White-tailed deer have uniquely created their own culture of outdoorsmen, and because of their intrinsic value, continue to save rural lands from urbanization, which results in habitat loss, as well as preserve the outdoor lifestyle.